Times Square has two components. One of them is the green screen platform, where we're capturing participants to crawl over the, the surface, and they're being captured by an overhead camera. Second component of the project, all the participants will be shown on 47 of the LED screens here in Times Square. There was something about his process and the way that he engaged with people that we thought, well, it would be really exciting if we had a two-part process in which we could actually create the work with people in Times Square and then invite them back to actually view themselves as part of the film. I thought it was pretty cool. I've never been on a green screen before. For me, it's very important that I include everybody that participated. They're all going to be climbing to the top of the building. I think it's going to look cool, like people scaling a building. Look like we're all superheroes. New Yorkers, uh, visitors, tourists. We've also invited professionals that are associated to the arts and cultural vibrancy of New York City. For me, that was a very important component, not just the regular folk, which was fantastic, but also have people that are really part of the energy and the life of the city. I feel people really enjoy participating. You know, they're in a very public space. You know, Times Square could not be more of a theater of, of of, you know, of everyday life in New York City. I mean, people come here to look at the shows, to look at the LED screens, to, to really marvel at this kind of overload, sensory overload, and to actually not just be a spectator, but to actually kind of become actors for a few seconds, for half a minute or a minute. I think people really like that reversal of roles. This crawling gesture, which I've always been very fascinated by. I mean, we've all crawled as infants, it was really our first movement out into the world, getting away from our mothers. And it was our first adventure, our first ability to be able to self-propel ourselves out into the world. So I really want people to come back to that, you know, to remember that. It seems to be like a little girl, you know? <laughs> she's flossing, she's swimming, she's doing something. We work with all of the sign holders through the Times Square Advertising Coalition. They really help to pull it together because all of these signs are individually owned and operated. It's a very complex process. And this is the first time that we've ever done a live action in Times Square that gets transformed into a midnight moment. And we're really excited to be able to do that. You won't be able to see it all in one night. So I'm hoping that people can come back and see different parts of the show different nights. I want to bring out the King Kong in all of us, definitely.